Good morning one and all, it's a weekend and it's time to learn something new. In this video, we are gonna learn machine learning algorithm on Elasticsearch. All right, let's get started here. Yeah? So basically we are gonna use a KNN um, algorithm uh, on Elasticsearch. It's pretty dope, it's pretty amazing actually. Um, actually, you know what, um, this is recently released. Um, Amazon released this um, a feature that you can do it on Elasticsearch. So Elasticsearch KNN. So it's pretty new, okay? Uh, you won't find much of resources on this. So here you can see they gave a sample documentation and stuff like that, how to use it. But, but it's, 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 it's relatively new. It's like they released this, uh, I think two or three months back, I guess, like in March, if I'm not wrong. So pretty new, as I said. Now, let us look at the demo, guys. So first of all, what I do is step one, uh, import all the resources, okay? So that's done. I define my endpoint. So I'm using localhost for my um, stuff. After that, I'm gonna use the Netflix movies data set uh, for uh, explaining you how to use this. So I'm gonna be working on titles, right? So I extracted all the title to all this. So in all, there are 6,234 titles, okay? Step three, convert the titles into a vector using Google pre-trained machine learning models. Oops, machine learning. So what I do is basically, uh, let me show you. So if I go to Google, and if I say TensorFlow, TensorFlow Hub actually. So if I go here, they have a machine learning pre-trained model. So if I go to AI resources, model data set, um, so TensorFlow Hub, and if I come here, and if I go to all collections, um, if I select the domain as embedding, we filter it out. So here you can see the BERT architecture and all of that, right? So I'm gonna use uh, one of the Google's architecture, a uh, pre-trained model, as I said. So what I do is basically, I convert each title into a vector. Uh, so here you can see there are 6,200. So here you can see one of the vector, how it looks like. It's basically numbers. That's what we want. Then after that, I define my custom mappings on Elasticsearch. Uh, so you have to say index KNN is equal to true. That um, tells Elasticsearch that you want to use KNN algorithm on Elk stack. You would say dynamic true and source enabled is true. Then you would define a property. So title is type text, basically normal thing. And here is something new. So I say title vector, uh, type as KNN vector. It's a KNN vector, right? And you would say dimension is 128. So depending upon your dimensions, what you're choosing uh, can be 512, 128, 50, whatever you want. Uh, usually the bigger the dimension, the better are the similarity search. So I go ahead and create an index on my local host. Uh, here you can see acknowledgement, your mappings, and once your mapping is done, uh, so the next step would be basically uploading into the Elasticsearch. So I'm using, I'm using the bulk helpers uh, from the Elasticsearch module. So here you can see, once the data is uploaded, I did a testing. So enter a query, whatever you wanna enter, let's say Iron Man or whatever movie's name. Uh, what I do is basically I convert that into a tensor, tensor uh, basically a tensor object. Then I embed that, I do a word embedding on that. So basically it's gonna do word embedding using Google's pre-trained model. Then I convert that into a NumPy array. Then I extract that as a list. This is a query. So I say match all, script tag. Then I use cosine similarity vector here. Uh, then I pass the cosine similarity vector. Then in the script query basically, here you can see vector is equal to x. So I pass that vector and it's gonna do all the hard work for me and it's gonna give all the uh, stuff. So here, uh, in the query, you would say es.search, provide the index name, size, how many records do you want to receive, and stuff like that. And once you do it, I'm just gonna filter it out to better uh, see the results, right? So once I do this, uh, I entered the movie's name as Swiss uh, Army Man, and it gave me Swiss Army Man because he was already there. And after that, it'll give me all the related search, like the vectors that are most related to Swiss Army. That's amazing, like, that's pretty cool, right? Like machine understands all of that, right? So it also gives you a confidence score, like 50%, 40% and stuff like that. So here is a tutorial for you guys on uh, using machine learning algorithms on Elasticsearch. The entire blog is posted on my GitHub, uh, no, actually posted on my blogs. So kindly go and check it out. And if you have any, any additional questions, uh, kindly reach out to me. So this is what I learned this week and I thought to teach you guys. So hopefully you have enjoyed this uh, small walkthrough of uh, ML in Elk Stack. If so, do give a like. If you have any more questions, kindly post your questions in the comments and see you guys next time.